Hey guys, Steve here from Blossom Racing. Going to shoot a quick video to you. Uh, this is just basically how to install the spiral locks into the piston. Uh, here's your uh, standard spiral lock. And if you look at these really good, uh, you can see, see how I have those split apart? So this is a dual um, wire spiral lock right here and on this side. There is a small area that only has a single wire um, on this uh, spiral lock. See how I split that apart? So that ends right there, and then the other one ends right there. So this whole area right here is a single uh, wire area. Uh, that's the area that we're going to use a lot. So, um, so basically, uh, take your piston. This is a three and a half inch piston. Um, this is a uh, 6212, or now it's a 6712 um, ARC rod. Uh, take your wrist pin and just make sure that uh, it slides through your piston without any problems. Uh, take your rod and connect it. And then you really want to make sure that uh, there's, it's not binding on the bottom of the piston. Uh, sometimes the rod will hit the bottom of the piston and then you got to take it uh, to the mill and, and clearance it out or take it to a sand, um, uh, a little Dremel tool and, and just uh, clean out that area a little bit so that your rod isn't getting caught on the bottom of the piston. All right. So really simple on this piston, which is a three and a half to install these spiral locks. So my main tool is these needle nose has a little uh, 45 degree angle on the end. Um, you're just going to grab it, grab a hold of your spiral lock, just like that. And if you see where I'm grabbing, um, this is where the single wire um, area is on this spiral lock. So here's, you can see the double. Let me get my nail in there. There's the double, and then the double's over here, and I'm holding on to the single area. So all I do, get this angled a little bit better. All right. Get that aiming towards you. I'm going to take the spiral lock and put it in kind of um, vertical, straight up and down compared to the hole, all right? And then when it gets in there, then you got to turn it so that it's horizontal. So the easiest way is I take my fingers to kind of steady my tool and then just push it right down, right down into the hole, just like that. So now it's standing in there vertical. And then I'm just going to take my tool and kind of lay it over to the side. So now it's, it's kind of laying over on the side. All right. Then you just take a quarter inch drive. Make sure that this end goes in, in the hole. All right. Take your hammer. Tap it down in. Come from the other side. And that's making sure that it's seated. Then just visually look inside and make sure that uh, that spiral lock is all down in there. And for the other side, uh, at least on this piston, uh, pretty simple. Exactly the, the same procedure. Grab a hold of your spiral lock right in the middle of the single thing, the single wire. Grab a hold of your piston right there. Hold the, hold the tool and push it down in. Once you get it down in, just take your tool and push it over to the side. Just like that. Come in with your quarter inch drive. Tap it down in. Got a little hung up on the edge there, so take my tool and get it situated. Take a quarter inch drive, 
tap it down in and then you can feel it when it seats okay and that is how you install it on one of these pistons now let's try a 3.740 piston which has a skinnier uh, wrist pin area so you don't have as much room to grab a hold of these spiral locks to slide them down in so let me show you how we do that one so once again here's your spiral lock shove your uh, wrist pin in there yep nope, that one doesn't fit where's my other one there it is Okay, let me grab a different wrist pin really quick. Takes a uh, short wrist pin. I'll need that for the demonstration. All right. So basically, you're going to slide it in, take your rod, hook your rod on, make sure that that is. Uh, plenty of room in there and then let me move this over here so I can get a little bit better picture for you guys all right so to get it in you're going to push your wrist pin away from this side and and all that's going to do is give you room to grab a hold of your spiral lock just like you did in the first one and same way you're going to put it vertical right in the hole hold it with your finger and then push it down in the hole and you see it just kind of pops right down in there now you got to be careful on these because there's two ring grooves in there and you don't want to accidentally get it into the second one so i turned it sideways and it's now lower than the ring groove that I have to go in. So I'm gonna go from the other side that I did not put the spiral lock in, and I'm gonna tap it the other way. To get the, uh, to get it to seat. And then, when you come back over to the other side, when you come back over to the other side, um, the wrist pin will be there and you're not going to have the room in there to grab a hold of the single wire like that and shove it in because it's going to hit. Um, it's going to hit the wrist pin and you won't be able to shove it down inside vertically so this one is a little bit trickier um, the easiest way that i found is you just take your um, spiral lock here and you're going to kind of bend it out so it looks like that so just kind of unspring it so it's not all up against its uh, self so it's not all wound up and then then you're going to lay it horizontal right on the hole just like that see how it's laying there and then with your left thumb I'm going to hold the spiral lock and then come in with a flathead screwdriver a small one and you're just going to kind of push it so that the spiral lock goes down inside and then once you get it inside you can just walk it all the way around until you get to the tip push the tip in Take your tool, 
the quarter inch drive, tap it, and then visually inspect when you are done, visually inspect that that spiral lock is all the way down in there and seated and is not going to come out. Well, hopefully that helps you guys on uh, installing spiral locks. All right, have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.